Ekumak. This is Further Solutions Academy. Further Solutions Academy. In this channel, you can learn anything mathematics, any so called mathematics problem, but anyone that has parts, make sure you start from part one. In this video, I'll be walking you through ANOVA, which is statistics, statistics, part, part, um, part 13, statistics part 7, part 13, part um, 12, I've explained what is called um, regression and elevation and, and regression and correlation, I've explained that, but in this video, I'll be walking you on ANOVA team. Now, but let me give an insight to ANOVA table, how it normally looks like. My ANOVA table always looks like this. Now, with the help of my correlation and regression, I will achieve my what? ANOVA table. Now, number one, I have regression. Regression, um, we have error. And uh, we have a total. That is very important. Now, in this, I will now have something like this. Okay, I will have something like this. I have one. This one is SS. With this one is a DF. And uh, we have a MX. We have, which is also we have my MC. Now, it means this one, my my SS, my SS means what? Um, It means some, SS means what? Some. Um, sum of square of, I mean, for, for regression, for regression, that is A. Here, it means DF, it means my degree, it means degree, degree of freedom. Degree of student. Now my um, MX. My MX means mean mean square. My mean square. And uh, what again? What again? My F F FC. It means my uh, F cal calculated. Calculated. We have F calculated. I can put. CF also FT that one is um tabulated. Now that's what I want to walk you through on this particular question. Now by setting up this table, I've achieved my what ANOVA table. I've achieved my what ANOVA table. Okay. Once I have this, I have my ANOVA table. Now let me have a problem here that will really help us to that will help us in setting up our ANOVA table. Okay, if I have a problem this way, I have a particular problem here, which is uh, I'm asked to, the table, the table show, um, show the ages, ages X and the Um, systematic systematic below 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 procedure okay why of what 10 women 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 I believe women 10 women now this is my H which is S and the what and the blood pressure now i'm showing the pressure of a particular woman or a term woman okay which is my blood pressure this is pressure sorry now this is a table if i have a 54 this one is 140 pressure i have a 42 this one is 125 i have 72 and um 160, I have 36, and um, 118, I have um, 63, 
I have um, 149, 49, I have um, 128, I have 55, I have um, 150, I have um, 49, I have 49, I have 145, I have um, um, 38, and um, I have um, 115. I have 42. I have um, 140. Now, this is the table. Now, I want to number one. Determine, determine the least square regression. Regression. Okay. Regression. Um, this square regression line. Y. And X. Okay, that's number one. Number two. I'm asked to evaluate. Evaluate the coefficient. Coefficient of um of determinant determination which is r squared uh, and the and the mean square error which is ms Okay, and the plus one, number three, I'm asked to set up the ANOVA table. ANOVA table. Okay, I want to set up. This is the question in front of me here that I want to solve to explain how ANOVA table come up, which is here. Now, make sure you have this question. I want to solve it now. Okay, I want to set up this. Okay, I have to grow up the whole board because it will take a lot of space. To take a lot of space. Now, I want to set up my table for ANOVA. Okay. Mathematics, I'm still mathematics. Now, if I want to set up, the normal way of preparing our, um, our um, poison table, which is I will have my X, I will have my Y. It's very, very important. This is where we are starting from. Now, my hairs are 56. Uh, it's in form 47. Uh, 42 is in 125. 72 is in 160. Um, 86 is in 118. 63 is in 179. Um, 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 47 is in 128, uh, 55 is in 150, um, 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 49 is in um, 145, um, and uh, 42 is in 140. Now, summation of F, I mean, of of x is very important summation of y now sum it up with your calculator with your calculation uh, calculating machine which um to get 500 yes i've summed it's 500 also if i should sum this one up it will be equal to my sum up of y it will be 1377 1377. Now I need that. Now for me to continue, I need to get my x and y. It means my x times what? Times y, which I will be having this time is this. I'll be having 8230. Uh, this time is this. I'll be having 6090. This time is this. I'll be having 61. One one 
two, five. It means I'll be having one, one, two, five. This time this, I'll be having four, two, um, eight, two. This time is this, I'll be having nine, three, um, eight, seven. This time is this, I'll be having um, six, zero, one, six. This time is this, um, I'll be having eight, two, uh, five, zero. This time is this, I'll be having seven, one, zero, five. This time is this, I'll be having four, three, seven, zero. This time is this, I'll be having five, eight, eight, zero. Now, if I should sum it up, which is my summation, my total number, it will sum up to, um, Okay, if I sum it up, uh, it will be 70,000, 71,000 of 90. That is my sum up. I'll move on to my y square. Now, my y square, it means I'm square the number here, which is I'll be having 316. I mean, 3136. I'll be having 1764. I'll be having 5184. I'll be having this one 36 square, um, 5184. Um, okay. Uh, I'll be having 1296. And this one square, I'll be having 2209. And this square, it will be 30 and um, 25. 30, yes. 30 and, sorry. I need to take it. This is 30. This is 30. 30 and 25. Because right now it says 30. Now, seven, um, 47 square. 47 square should be 2209. Uh, 63 square. 63 square, it should be. Um, that would be 39. Okay, sorry. This one will be 3. Three nine, um, six, six nine, three nine six nine. Okay, forty nine square. Okay, and so on and so forth. If I have a forty nine square, forty nine square, that'll be forty times forty. Okay, I'll be having uh, forty nine square to be twenty four oh one. Thirty eight square, it will be. One four four four. Okay, and uh, this one will be what seventeen six four. Now, if I sum up, if I sum everything up, my sum it up, it will be uh twenty six thousand. Twenty six thousand. Um, one hundred and ninety two. That is very very important. I will move on to y squared. Now, my y squared the same way, I'm working on this particular aspect. It will give me four digit number, I mean, five digit number. Okay. Now, watch our no more calculator. It will be 15625. 15625. 16, 16 times 16. Um, I will have a 256, and this also, I will be having two five six zero zero one one. I mean one one three nine two four. This also square. I'll be having um okay one forty nine square one hundred and forty nine square. It will be two two two. Two 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 zero one two two zero one uh forty nine square I mean this one twenty eight square it will be um one twenty eight square it will be um one six one six three eight four one six three eight four and um one six three eight four this will be two two 
um, 500 into 500. This will be um, 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 into 500. Now I'll be having 210, 21025. And also 111, I'll be having. 132 and uh, 25 25 and um, this one will be 19600 19600 now if I should sum up this number if I should sum it up uh, that is the sum of now I don't need the sum of now this is where I will now work I want to achieve my what I want to achieve something like this. I need the next one will be um I will have, I will need my what um why why not now how do I get my why my why is equals to what alpha plus what beta beta s star now that's all about that now on each stand on each stand now i will now look for my alpha and look for my words my beta now my beta is always equals to and my alpha is always equals to now um how do i get my alpha and my beta now my beta my beta okay my beta is always equals to alpha equals to i mean cap is equals to n summation of x y um minus summation of x summation of y divided by um n summation of x squared minus um summation of x all squared summation of x all squared that's my that is how i will achieve my now it means my hand is 10 my hand is what my hand is equals to 10 my summation of x y is equals to what is equals to my summation of x y is already given which is going to be what seven to one seven to one thousand and ninety now that is very important seven to one thousand and what and ninety is this seven to one thousand no and ninety eight sorry seven to one thousand and ninety eight sorry and ninety eight seven to one thousand and ninety eight now <laughs> i will now move on summation of y and uh, of x and of y summation of x and of y this has been summation of y of x is equals to 500 summation of y it to be equals to um which is going to be 1377 now 1377 which <laughs> now 1377 um, now i will now achieve my what my data my beta will now be equals to my beta it will be equals to 10 times um 71098 my minus this also will be um I believe one, 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 500 okay um 500 times multiply by summation of y which is going to be one three five eight seven seven all divided by I will have 10 times summation of s squared, which is my s squared is already given. Summation of s squared is what? 26,192 minus, I will now go, which is only of my y square, I mean s square. It means the number here, I will square it. I will have um, 1, 3, is it x? Sorry, it's s square, which is going to be 500. All squared now 500 all squared now in doing that I'll be having my beta it will be equals to um, um, when you had up calculator 2 2 oh, sorry 2 2 4 8 0 divided by um, 11920 now that is what I'm going to get since I have this I will now divide it. I will divide, divide my beta cap, cap, sorry, to be equals to um 
my beta cap is equal to um, one point one point eight eight, approximately um, five six, which is approximately beta cap. It will be equals to one point eight eight six. Now that is my beta. Now, since I have my beta, I can now get my what? My y, I mean my beta, my alpha will now be equals to my alpha from here now. From what I'm having here, my alpha is equals to what? Y x naught plus what? Formation of x bar. Now, which I will now say that what? Um, my x naught, since my n is 10, uh, my y bar, my y bar, my y bar it will be equal to a summation of what? Y, summation of y all over what? All over n. Summation of which is we are looking for mean of y. This also means the same thing as what? As the mean of y. Mean of y. Now, once I have that, I'll be having what's our summation of y, which is going to be um um I have to present this thing very well. Okay. Uh, please note this is very important on this case. This alpha is very important. Therefore, let me try to rub this side of it. Oh, Jesus, thank you. Now, I've got my y. Now, from here now, my... Okay, I can say that something is coming here now. Now, it means my summation, y cap is equal summation of y. It means what? One three seven seven divided by what ten, which is I have one three seven point seven. That is my answer. Now I will now move on to my y cap, my y what, my y, my y what, my y bar, which is on the summation of what x all over what all over n, which is five hundred, five hundred divided by what ten, which is going to be what fifty. Now that is my y cap. Now, since I have those two values, now I have my S bar and I have my, now I will ask that about what? My, my, my Y, I mean my alpha, it will be equals to Y bar plus beta S bar, which is equals to my alpha, it will be equals to, which is, uh, I have 137.7 .7 plus, this one is, um, what I have here, 1.886 bracket of 50. Now, bracket of 50. If I use my calculator and want to push my calculator, I'll be having um, to be 40, 43.4. Since my alpha cap is equal to what? 43.4. Now, I have my beta, I have my alpha, I have everything that I need now. It seems that I can now say that what? Now, um, my y cap now what i really need here is what is my y cap which is equals to is equals to sorry this is my note no sorry have i made a mistake here? okay this is going to be minus sorry i made a mistake minus i even minus in my calculator sorry i minus it now once i minus that i will have what i will have that now it means what i mean here now is my y equals to what um alpha my plus beta x bar that is what i needed now since i have there it means i'll be having my y bar it will be equals to what uh what's the name of this thing we have what um alpha plus what beta s s bar now since i have that if I should do my what, my calculation, I will calculate it up, I will sum it up, which I will be having um, 43.3, 43.4 plus my beta is 1.886 bracket of S bar, my S bar is 50, my S bar is 50, it means my Y cap, it will be equals to add up, add up this thing, once I had up, sorry, I've had my beta already. Now, my alpha, it will be what? Now, once I had up, it will be um, um, 
gamma hex bar, okay, which is going to be what? Um, obtained, which is ending as what? My x 43 minus 4 plus what? 1 point what? Okay, of x bar. Now, that is my regression line. Now, since I've done that, I can now see that what? My, my x bar is be equals to on each on each stand on each stand sorry on each stand on each stand i'll be using of x of x to represent it means my first one on class one it means y, y equals to what 43 point four plus one point eight eight six multiplied by 56 56 now, once I punch my calculator, once I punch my calculator, which I will be having 1.886 times 56, 56 um, plus, plus 43.3. Now, I'll be having, um, I'll be having 149. What? It means I'll be having 149 points. Now I will now be doing that for each stand of x. This one will be two. Now, which I'll be having 149 point what? Point zero one six. Also, if I do the same thing here, I'll be having one two two points. Don't forget on each stand, it means this place my hex will be what? 42. Since my hex will be 42, it will be um 1.2 um six one two also if i move on to the next one one three nine point one nine two the next one will be one 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 point two six nine the next one will be what it means i'll be having um okay i'll be having um calculator now um, 162.218. This also, S is also in cool. Okay, I'll be having this fast. Okay, okay, thank you. 32.042. Um, and uh, also, I'll be having, sorry, this line is not perfectly okay. Okay, thank you. Now, I'll be having, um, the next one will be what? One four three point what point one three and also one three five point eight one four and also one one five point zero six eight and also I'll be having one two two point um point six now, I will now sum it up. If I sum up this number, my sum up will be what? Um, it will be equals to what? What I'm adding here, which is going to be what? Um, 1,377. That is 1,377. 1,377. Now, I will now move on to the next. Please, this calculation, hope you understand the S bar and Y bar. Now, the table has no end because I'm working towards what? An over. Now, okay. Okay, I want to look for my what? My error. Now, I want to find my error. My error, it will be equals to what? Which is my E, it will be equals to um, X minus S bar. We have done that my x bar that time. My x bar, the same thing as what? Uh, okay, I will now move on to the next each of them. My s y bar, this is my y bar. This is my y bar. And I will now be minusing this minus this. I'll be doing that one by one, which I'll be having minus 2.016. Uh, and also, I'll move on to what? 2.388. Um, Thank you. And also, my y bar, this is this one now, I have minus with, with 360, which is I'll be having minus 19 point, um, minus 19 point one two 
191. Now, yes, and also I'll be having 6.704. Um, this also I'll be having minus 13.218. Uh, also, I'll be having a uh, minus 4.042. And also, I'll be having 2.870. Um, and also, I'll be having, um, okay, I'll be having, I'll be having 9.186. I'll be having, here, I'll be having 0. Here, I'll be having 0, which is 0. Now, I'll be having 0 there. Here, I'll be having 17. Point um three eight eight three eight eight. Now, since I have this, I will now move on to my e square, my error square. Now, my error squared, everything that is I'm having here, I will square it. It means I'll be having um four point zero four four zero ah four point zero six four sorry zero six four. This will be what four. Which is going to be four, okay, five point seven zero three. Now I also have um three eight uh point three two three three. I mean three 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 no three three three. Now calculator thirty six, which is going to be um I'll be having forty four point um nine four four, and also I'll be having. 194 point 194.716 i'll be having 16 point um 16.388 um i'll be having if i if i do this it will be um i want to have um to be 8.237 and also i'll be having 48 points um three eight three i'll be having zero and also three two point what point three four two now i want to sum it up if i sum it up i'll be having one thousand and nine points um zero six one thank you now, since I have this, I will now look for my what? My regression. Now, my regression, it will be equals to bracket of y minus y bar, um, y bar all square. Minus y bar, yes. That is my regression, which is my y minus what? My y bar. I mean, let me just explain that very well. y bar, I mean y cap minus what y bar now my y bar will be known as what my y bar is equal to the summation of y all over what all over and we should have done that earlier now it means at one stand at this stand you'll be doing this minus what minus me minus me of what of y now if um my mean of y is already achieved which is i'll be dividing this one by what by 10 which is one three seven point what point seven now you will now be minusing it by what by uh by this since i will be minus which is this minus this minus this on each class on each class the first one will be what 11 point um 316 and the second one will be what minus 15 point uh, 088 and the next one will be um 41 Point one point point four nine two, and the next one is um twenty six, sorry twenty six point point four zero four, and uh, okay the fast the fast the fast okay twenty four point point five one eight okay, and also I'll be I'll be having minus five point point um six eight uh, six um five six 
I'll be having 494.40, okay, minus 1.884, um, um, that means 6, and I'll be having 22.68 finally, 632. Now minus and also the last one will be what? Um minus fifteen point um zero eight eight. Now since I have this, I will now move on to the last one, which is gonna be what? My regression square. My regression square is very very important at this point, which I will be having now. My regression square is the square of what of my my R squared. Now, okay, my R squared, okay, my R squared will be giving me the first one will be um one one and twenty six point um zero five two, and the last one will be what? Next one will be two two seven two two sorry two two seven point um six four eight. And uh, this one will be what? 1721.5. Um, and the last the next one will be what? 671.697.1171. And also, I'll be having 601. Point, point, um, one, three, two, and uh, the last one will now be what? Um, I will have um, 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 three, three, two, thirty two point, point zero one three, thirty two point zero one three. I will having eighty eight point nine. Two five, and also I'll be having um three point five five seven. Okay, I create up fast now. Okay, I'll be having two one two point two o seven, and also I'll be having um two two seven point point uh zero nine eight zero nine eight. Now, I will sum up this particular R. If I sum it up, it will be 4,240. That is my sum up. Now, and now at this point, I can now perform, prepare my what? My ANOVA table. Now, how do I prepare my ANOVA table? This, my R is very important. My R is very, very important. And my error also. Now, this sum up, they are very, very important. Let me just put this is my x, my x, my y, sorry, but I'll rub it up. And uh, my x, y, my x bar, I mean squared, my y squared, my y cap, and um, my e squared, and my what? My error squared. Now, those are those numbers I really, really need them. Now, I want to prepare my ANOVA table now. I want to prepare. My what? ANOVA table. Now, my ANOVA table, I want to prepare my ANOVA table. Now, if I should prepare my ANOVA table, okay, I will now move on to ANOVA table. My ANOVA table is prepared this way. I'll be having my what? My mean, okay. This is my what? Regression. This is my error. And this is my total. Now, I'll be having something like this, something like this, and something like this. Now, the first one is xx, which is a, my sum of what? Square. I'm, and my, the b of what? Freedom. My mean square. And also my effort calculated now i don't need tabulated for now i don't sorry 
I won't talk about this computer. Now, my mean square, my mean square, how will I get my mean square? It means what? My mean square is what? To 440, which is going to be what? Four. This is going to be what? My half square is my mean square, which is going to be what? 400 and what? And 40. How will I perform my mean square? My mean square is just what? Summation of what? Half square, which is going to be what? 400 and what? 40. Which is 400 and what? 40. My error, my error, which is my E. Now, I'll be having my error as what? It means my sum of what? Of E squared, summation of what? E squared, which is going to be what? Um, it will be 1009.0. Uh, 061, which is I'll be having one, which is what I have here. I'll be having um zero zero. Sorry for my board, my board is not very okay. Okay, I'll be having that now. Which is I will now sum it up the total of them. If I should find the total, my total of this particular error amount it will be what it will be um five two four nine point. 061. Okay, this is 061. Now, I will now move on again. My degree of freedom. How do I find my degree of freedom? My degree of freedom is found by having my D of freedom to be equals to what? N minus 1. How many is my 9? My 9, I mean, my N is what? Is 10. It means 10 minus 1, which is going to be what? 9. I'll be having my 9. Which is I'll be having nine. Now of the error now of the regression, which is my D, sorry, D, degree of freedom of what? Of regression. It will be what? It will be one, which is what? One. Degree of freedom of regression is what? Is one, which is going to be what? One. Is one. Now, degree of freedom of error. It means what? My N minus what? Minus two, my n minus two, which is going to be what n minus two? It will be equals to what? <sighs> it will be equals to eight. Now my total, it will be what? Total give me back to what? Which is going to be what? Degree of freedom, which is what nine. When you add up these two together, we we'll go back to where we are coming from, which is going to be what nine. Now, also I will move on to what my mean square. My mean square. Okay. My mean square, my mf, mx, it will be how do I find my mx, which is sum of square of error. It means what? Sum of e of s, it will be equal to what? e square, which is error square. My error square is already given, which is going to be what? 1, 1, 0, um, 9.61. Okay, now I will now move on to the, the next one, which is mxe. I mean, R, MSR, which is what? Mean square regression. I mean, regression. Mean square regression is to be equal to what? S, R, all over what? All over 1, which is equal to what? Uh, 4, 4. I'll be having 4, 4. Um, now, which I'll be having 4, 2, 0. Now, I will now move on to my mean square error. My mean square error. My mean square error. It will be equals to my SS error divided by divided by degree of freedom of error, which is equals to what degree of freedom of error. It will be what eight. It means one one zero zero point six one divided by what eight. If I should divide the number by 8, I'll be having 8. No, I have 126.126.8. 126 now, 126.133. It means what I'm having here, it will be what? I'll be having the first one will be what? 4240. Why this one will be what? Um, 124.133. Now, I've achieved that very well. The next one, I will now move on to the what? My um, calculated. Now, my calculated, I mean, 
I go ask you my calculator. Ah. Now, it means my F calculated. Now, it will be equal to what? My sum square error multiplied by what? N minus 2 divided by um, SS of what? Error. It means I'll be having um, 4,440 4, divided, I mean, times N times, which is going to be 10 minus 2, which is going to be 8. 10 minus 2 is 8. Of time divided by um divided by i will now be having um my error of this which will be what um one zero zero nine point zero six one zero six one since i have that i'll be having calculator will help us in calculator calculator i need calculator at this point which is going to be what um i'll be having three three nine um twenty divided by 1002.061 now if i should press electronic machine 33.615 33.615 it means my calculator it will be equal to what um three three point what point six one five now that is my what anova table now if i want to know the percentage I want to know the percentage. If I should know the percentage of error, how do I know percentage of error? My percentage of error is always equal to my R squared. It will be equal to what? SR divided by what? SS, um, SS what? I multiplied by what? By 100. Now, which is times 100? It means 1, 4,240 divided by my ssr is what and um, i would have it which is going to be what um what i'm having last time which is i'll be having um five when when you multiply um uh, that times eight which is going to be two five nine four point what zero six one times one hundred cents now whatever i have calculator which is to be equals to i also will give me eighty Point seven seven four. I mean seven seven six percent. That is my what my uh, percentage. Now that is all about that on um, ANOVA table. This is now called ANOVA ANOVA table. ANOVA table. This is called ANOVA table. It's very very simple, but what is a bit uh, much. That is all about that on an ANOVA table. In our next video, I'll be working on the uh, application aspect of another table. Once again, this is Further Solutions Academy. Further Solutions Academy. Encourage us more. Help us to share our video and also subscribe. Subscribe to our video. Thanks for watching.